All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to make an ice fishing replica mount. Uh, so basically what we're going to have is an ice fishing scene with a hole, uh, some fake water, and a couple of fish laying on top of that hole. Uh, so first, what I did, I went to Hobby Lobby, or you guys can go to your local craft store, and I got this board. Uh, it's already set up. I didn't make this myself. I also got a just a square board that they also sell there, and I drilled a 5-inch hole in it. This is going to be our actual ice fishing hole. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, this actually fits in here perfectly. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this, glue this down, let it harden. Um, and then we are going to paint this uh, dark black paint so then it look, kind of looks uh, dark and um, has some depth to it. So ultimately, I have my two bluegills here. I still have to paint them. Uh, I'm going to give you the link to my other videos. I'm not going to show the whole process in painting these fish and mounting them. I really just want to show you guys um, the process that after my fish are done, uh, mounting them on this um, board here and making it look like an actual uh, ice fishing scene. Uh, I'm just going to take some wood glue and glue this on here good. Gonna set that in there, get our clamps on there just to kind of hold it down. Too tight. That'll just hold it in place while it hardens. Uh, so I'll give this a couple hours to let it dry, um, and then we're set to uh, go on to the next step, which is painting the inside of the hole. All right, our glue is dried. So now our next step here: are the rod holder. So I'm just going to put a couple marks on here and we're just going to zip tie it on there and then we'll cover the zip ties up later with some of our fake snow. Alright, so our fishing rod holder is secured. Alright, so now we have our fishing uh, rod holder there secured. We are going to just drill a small hole that this line can go through. So then it looks like the pole is actually bending and we'll tighten it down. So I'll just drill right through there. Just like so. And there we go. As you can see, now it looks like there's actually like a fish on there, a little bit of action. And we are just going to secure this uh, line. Actually, have a little hook on the back side to wrap it around. All right, our fishing pole is all secure. We got the line going through the hole here. Next thing we're going to do is. Uh, Put some white paint over this uh, tan board here. It's just to kind of make it blend in with the fake snow that we're going to put on top. If we don't paint over top of it, it'll really stick out. Um, so first we'll put the white around this board and then... Alright, so then we'll take our black and then we'll put it on the inside of the hole and around the edge of the hole. This will give the hole some depth and make it look like it's actually you know, going deep down into the water. If we just keep it like this and put our fake uh, if we put our fake water on without painting it, it won't look like there's actually water down there, it'll just look white. So we need to put that dark color in there. And again, I'm no professional. Um, I just kind of learned how to do this stuff. Like I say in a lot of my videos on YouTube and through articles and videos and such um, and a lot of this stuff I just kind of think up on the fly uh, as far as this ice fishing scene goes I just kind of thought it in my head and thought it would turn out pretty cool so we'll see how, how, it, how it all turns out just 
going to put that black in there. And then we'll just blend that on in. Alright, we'll let that dry a little bit, but that's good enough for me. Next step, uh, once this is dried, is we're going to take this and put our fake water in there. Alright, our paint is dry, so now we have to put in our artificial water. Uh, basically, you take uh, quite a bit of this with a couple of drops of this. Now, this is the catalyst. This is the artificial water. You pour most of this in there, put a couple drops in here and mix it up. And then after a while it starts to uh, harden and stiffen up. When it starts to get really rubbery and start to really harden, then we're going to kind of create some ripples in it. Um, but that might be about an hour or so before that happens. So we'll pour this in right away. Stuff's got some good fumes to it, so you're going to want to do this outside or in a well-ventilated area. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this on in there. That should be good. Pour a couple drops of this in there. All right. Now. Stuff's kind of starting to thicken up here. Uh, still going to be a little while, but. If you move it around a little bit, you can kind of get some uh, texture to it, really. And what I want to do is just kind of move it around so it looks like it's almost a little bit frozen over. And you can just do that by just kind of moving it around and it kind of gets a little bumpier feel to it. Another thing you can do is uh, if you're an avid ice fisherman, you know how your line really freezes up. Um, you can kind of just put some of this up and down on your line and that way it kind of looks like it's uh, beating up on your line there all right let's see how this is going it's really starting to thicken up now so now is the time where we can kind of just move this top around a little bit and it gives it kind of a icy glazed over look to it all you really have to do is move it around yeah it's starting to look pretty good so it's been a full day since I uh, put the fake water, the artificial water in here. It's all hardened. Um, so this is ready to go. Uh, I actually just got done painting our two bluegills we're going to put on here. These turned out pretty good. Pretty excited about that. Uh, our next step is going to be putting on our fake snow. So I actually got this uh, from an online taxidermy shop. All this is pretty much glue and then just this fake powdery snow and we're just going to spray this glue all over here just to cover up this wood and then uh, make it look more like an ice fishing scene. So first things first I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And then just sprinkle your snow on here, like so. Alright, so the last step in the process was to attach the fish. All I did was take a couple pieces of uh, clothes hanger here. Drill a hole through the back side of this and then run the, uh, the close hanger into the styrofoam on the fish. Um, that really, that secured it good enough to this board here. Other than that, uh, we're done with this. It turned out pretty good. Very happy the way it turned out. Um, this board has hooks so you can either hang it up on the wall vertically or you can set it uh, in a cabinet or on a table, something like that. Uh, so um, like I said, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.